I think that film does engage with ideas sometimes, and that film can engage with philosophical ideas. I think it does this in a number of different ways. I think it can do it by illustrating them and showing them. It might show a character who's living for a certain philosophy or a certain um, outlook on the world. I think of um, the evil character in No Country for Old Men, where he tosses a coin to decide whether people will live or die. There's a philosophy underneath that and behind that. I think of films like Chocolat, based on the book, and how within that you have characters, some of whom are representing a kind of paganism, where we go back to ancient principles, pre-religious systems, in order to find what will transform our world, and others who represent an oppressive religious authority, like the Comte de Reno, who's trying to oppress the coffee shop, the chocolate shop. Um, uh, now, how does film then prosecute, persuade, interrogate ideas? I think it does this in a variety of different ways. But I think it does it by showing us the consequences of ideas. I think it brings critiques of those ideas in. One example might be how Jack Bauer in the series 24 has to do a series of, of things like torturing terrorists in order to bring the outcome out of, of saving everybody. We might call this a utilitarian ethic where we have to, the right thing to do is to do the thing which causes, creates the greatest overall happiness for the greatest number of people. The problem is, is that Jack Bauer himself gets destroyed through doing this. He has what's called the integrity objection because the agent who has to do those things has to do terrible things and it causes a rupture in them. So in presenting the character who has to do those things, it shows us the ethic of utilitarianism. But in showing the destruction of that character, how he wants to fake his own death, how he wants to commit suicide, how he wants to find a way out, it also presents us with a critique of utilitarianism within its own narrative by showing us the destruction of that character. So yeah, film can illustrate, can interact with philosophical ideas, it can critique those ideas. And sometimes if we're also paying attention, film can nudge us towards its own view. Films always present a worldview, a perspective, something that will transform a situation. And if we can glimpse and see those sort of moments where everything turns around for the characters, they either get out of the fix they're in or they manage to get through or, or they don't, that redemptive solution is quite often a communication of the key strategies in the center of the worldview of the film that are, are the hoped for strategies for all of us, not just for the people in the film. Films are about reality, they're from reality, and sometimes those overlap with each other.